Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is day three of the Dala Creative TV Big Craft Box Educational Week. And today we are going to learn about colors and we are going to make a beautiful fridge magnet. Okay, on the back of your box there was a color mixing chart and a color wheel. I've already cut mine out. And we are going to learn about colors today. So on your color wheel, we've got lots of colors, but I'm going to start with the primary colors. So we've got yellow and red and blue. Those are our primary colors. So if you mix yellow and red, you get orange. And if you mix yellow and blue, you get green. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. So if you mix a little bit more blue than red, you get a dark purple. And if you mix a little bit more red than blue, you get a reddish purple. And the same with the other colors. So we are ready to begin. So take out your box and take out your scissors and of course googly eyes, also your tube of glue and then inside the box we've got a packet of fun foam with some um, cookie cutters or shape cutters. So I want you to take out the white fun foam. Also look for the packet with the popsicle sticks as well as the small packet with the twine and the little pegs and the bells and the fridge magnets. So with our popsicle sticks we are going to make a rainbow. So we are going to take rainbow colors out of the packet. So open your packet carefully so that all the sticks don't fall out. Okay, so here I'm going to take out a purple one and a red stick. I also have a green one and a blue one and a yellow one. We also need a neutral color one that we are going to use to um, construct all these popsicle sticks together. In this small packet with all the little items I want you to open it carefully and take out one of the magnets. Then you can open the packet with the white fun foam. These are really amazing stuff because you can shape it into almost any shape and it is fun to play with. It is tiny little balls that stick together and it's got nice texture. So I want you to squish it down and press it flat um, until it's not too thin but um, just thick enough so that we can make clouds from it. In the packet of plastic cutters, I want you to take out the circle cutter. And now we are going to cut out a few circles to make a cloud. Now you are probably thinking, but clouds are not round. But let's just wait. We are going to construct a few of these circles together to make one big rain cloud.
Okay, so I've cut out six circles. If you want to make a slightly bigger cloud, you can just cut out one or two more. Just put your fun foam back into the packet. Press it all the way to the bottom and make sure that you get all the air out. Fold it over and put it back into the big packet. Otherwise, it is going to dry out and you can no longer play with it. Now we are going to put our popsicle sticks together and we are going to put the colors of the rainbow next to each other. But because we are going to work and um, put the magnet on the back, we are going to work in the reverse side. So I forgot about the orange popsicle stick. Silly me. So please take out the orange popsicle stick as well. Okay, so let's start with the red popsicle stick on the right hand side. Right next to it on the left, we put the orange popsicle stick. And then we are going to put the yellow one. Next to the yellow one on the left, we put the green one. And then the blue one. And then the purple one. Make sure that they are all in line next to each other. To keep these popsicle sticks together, we are going to use the um, neutral one and glue it to the back. So all I'm doing now is I'm taking a ruler to get exactly the middle of this popsicle stick because I'm going to use scissors to cut it. If you are still too small, please ask mommy or daddy to cut the popsicle stick with, um, for you. So now, after you've cut it, you take your um, tube of glue stick and you put some glue on both of these neutral tone popsicle sticks. Just close the lid of your glue. Okay, be very careful and then you put one piece kind of like um, towards the top and then another piece towards the bottom. Be very careful because the glue is still wet and everything can still move around. You see what I mean? The sleeve of my jacket touched these popsicle sticks and everything went skew. So I am just going to take my ruler and make sure that everything is back in line. And then we are going to glue the bottom stick onto the rainbow sticks. Okay, we have to leave it for a couple of minutes to dry. So um, you can quickly have a sip of juice or a sip of water um, and then you can come back to finish your fridge magnet. Okay, take your fridge magnet and look for the side with the little circle. That is where you put the glue. So put enough glue onto the magnet and glue it right in the middle of your popsicle sticks. Again, we are going to have to wait for a while for it to dry. I'm carefully going to move it to the side because now we are going to make our cloud. The fun foam is quite sticky and it is easy to reshape. So all I'm doing is I'm putting some of these circles together 
and just pressing on it to form a cloud. It, it is so easy and so much fun to work with this. You can see that you can reshape it and if there's something that you don't like, you can do it over and move it and press it and make it into the shape that you like. I am just going to pick it up and see if it's going to fit on my rainbow sticks and press everything together. If you leave this out for a day or two, it is self-drying and it will become hard. And of course, I want my cloud to be friendly and have a face. So again, I'm going to glue two huge googly eyes to my cloud and give it a face. I'm also going to draw a, a mouth with my black cokey pen. So take your glue stick and just put a little bit of glue behind each eye. You can press it slightly into the fun foam. Don't press too hard, otherwise you are going to press it right through the fun foam. I am going to draw a smiley face because I want a friendly cloud. I am just going to leave it for a minute or two. There is no need to wait for it to dry completely before we glue it to our popsicle sticks. But I just want to leave it for a minute or two um, so that everything can stick together. Okay, so the back um, popsicle sticks and the magnet is dry. So I've turned it around and there I've got the colors of the rainbow. All I'm doing now is I'm adding some glue to the top so that we can glue the cloud to our rainbow. There you have it. Look at it, a beautiful fridge magnet that you can put on your fridge in the kitchen and learn the colors of the rainbow every time you have dinner. I hope you enjoyed this lesson with me today and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.